Okay, so here we have the iFlyRC.com uh, iX5S 200 millimeter frame. Uh, this one is the composite version uh, of the iX5 that I previously reviewed a few few weeks ago. Uh, so you'll see the difference uh, when I. Uh, when they say composite as opposed to um, a solid carbon carbon fiber uh, it's, it's basically the same the same uh, design as this with a few they've done a, a few improvements that are pretty pretty neat uh, I'll talk about it in, uh, in a little bit so this was the um, the other version um, comes uh, comes with pretty much everything that you need to put it together uh, yeah, this time they're including some uh, 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 aluminum hardware which is that's pretty neat pretty good uh, to uh, it reduces weight a little bit you know uh, a few grams uh, the, the steel screws do weigh a little bit more than, than these aluminum ones so these are the plates. Uh, this is what they this is what they mean when they say composite. Uh, it's a true composite in the in the sense that uh, it's not one uh, just one material. They're actually using uh, two materials to achieve uh, the same stiffness. Uh, so this comes. Uh, I believe this is from aerospace industry and uh, racing industry. One of those two, I'm sure it came from. Um, what it is, is this is a foam core. So that's actually, um, just by itself, it's not really strong. But when you add, uh, when you sandwich it between carbon fiber cloth, uh, carbon fiber layers, then it, it becomes stiff. So the benefit of that is that is that it's much it's lighter, uh, and then uh, but you still keep the same st stiffness, the same strength. So that's the main advantage. And um, uh, also, it was kind of neat to see that they're actually using the same the same composite uh, material in, in all of the plates. Even the the top plate uh, is the same the same material. The plates for the camera for the FPV camera cage the same it's the same material. And by the way, this is the uh, the new addition uh, to this design is uh, this uh, this uh, camera cage that's new. And uh, just before I forget, uh, just let me show you. Uh, they have it on the website. They show how this works, but uh, it's pretty cool just to see it here. Uh, it's actually pretty cool the way they the way they did this. So this is supposed to fit almost any any camera, uh, any FPV camera. Uh, this one's uh, Run Cam Swift, and uh, uh, you can see that uh, this center hole that's where it's gonna pivot. And then the other one is the uh, the one that secures it. So you just set it to the angle that you want, and then you tighten the screws, and it'll it'll be set. So so it seems that it, it yeah it, it'll fit almost any camera. So that's that's a pretty cool feature that saves time uh, in the build, and it it secures the camera and protects it too with these uh, side plates here, with this cage. So they're also including a, a strap and uh, some landing pads. There's four of these. I don't know if anybody uses them, but if you want to use them, they're there. Uh, this is dense foam, so, so this could come in handy for something else, or if you just want to use them on your on your legs, that works. Uh, standoffs are these uh, lightweight standoffs, aluminum. Uh, these are pretty pretty neat. I like these standoffs a lot, and then they give you plenty of uh, nylon standoffs for the uh, for the electronics in the center. 
So overall, it's a, a pretty well put together kit. Um, it does it does not have a, a PDB. So, but you know, uh, nowadays most uh, four in one there's a lot of people are using the four in one e ESCs. Uh, or if you need a PDB, there's plenty of options, and they're they're not that expensive. So, so that's not bad. Uh, so. Yeah, overall the the frame feels uh, almost yeah. I feel let's say it feels as stiff as the all carbon frame. Um, uh, and then uh, one thing I do want to mention with this type of material is that uh, when when you're putting it together, you do have to be a little bit careful uh, when you're tightening the screws. You don't want to over over tighten them. Uh, when you mount the motors or when you tighten the, the screws for the standoffs because um, what happens is uh, uh, while it's pretty strong on uh, this material is pretty strong you can still uh, you may still crush it like if you if you tighten a screw too hard uh, let's say you tighten it there and just keep tightening tighten it, it you may crush it uh, the material here around the screw so what you want to do is use a little uh, use some Loctite on the screw and then just tighten it just enough to the point where it's snug and let the Loctite do its work uh, you don't need a lot of Loctite so the blue Loctite is what I would use so that's one thing to keep in mind uh, that's that would be the only the only thing to keep in mind uh, but uh, overall, I think uh, this is pretty pretty interesting frame. I'm I'm pretty uh, curious to see how it uh, how it flies. They're saying it's about 57 grams, uh, just the frame put together. Uh, most of the frames are, I think, about 90, uh, anywhere from 70 to 90 grams. So that's that's quite a good difference. Uh, probably about the weight of a of a HD cam. Uh, so you know, with the weight savings, it would be like flying without any an HD cam. And and uh, if uh, I think that's that's a notice noticeable weight because uh, you know when you fly without the HD HD cam, you can you can tell the difference. Uh, so yeah, it looks like uh, all put together, it should be around fifty. 57 grams so that's that's quite light and uh, pretty easy to assemble just the frame I mean it's only one two three four four plates basically and the four standoffs so that's that's quite simple like most uh, unibody frames and the uh, these uh, are just a little bit hard to get in, but not impossible. You just have to nudge them in a, a little by little. Uh, but that's good, you know. Uh, I prefer to have uh, really tight tolerances, you know, so it's not loose. Uh, you just have to be careful, like, if, if on yours it's not, you don't see that it's going in uh, at least... Uh, even if it doesn't go in flush, but it should go in in all with all three tabs. If it doesn't, yeah, you might want to file the tabs just a little bit uh, because you don't want to, like I said, you don't want to uh, put too much force here and end up uh, crushing uh, the composite here. Uh, just just to be on the safe side, you know. So uh, the other. Th thing to note is that on the regular uh, uh, solid frame the edges were nice and round so they did a really good job at smoothing out the uh, the edges here uh, it's, it's probably some of one of the best edges I've seen on on any budget frame on this one because of the material uh, you're not able to 
around it as much so they're uh, some more somewhat sharp edges I mean you're not gonna get cut what I mean by sharp is com compared to the other one it's not rounded you know it's just like normal normal straight edges so but it's not bad it, it does have a little bit of uh, carbon dust when I got it but nothing major you know uh, for the price uh, I think this is 30 uh, 37.99 I think is is the price uh, a little bit higher than than most budget frames but uh, I mean you're probably not gonna find something as light as this for that kind of price uh, so you know it's uh, that's where you have to decide you know whether you want the lightest uh, five inch frame uh, and you know try it out uh, I still don't know or haven't seen that many reports uh, on this frame so we don't know as far as uh, durability is concerned uh, we don't have enough uh, long-term use uh, seems like it would be almost as it would be as durable as the other one uh, but yeah you know you have to we have to actually fly it and crash it and see how it survives uh, but still I think uh, the price is pretty reasonable so they sent me uh, this uh, Ipica 25 25 amp this is a 25 by 4 uh, ESC uh, so this Ipica brand is actually I'm pretty pretty happy with the other one that I reviewed uh, not too long ago uh, their 30 amp ESC it's been working pretty pretty well uh, very robust uh, ESC I've uh, I've been using it quite a lot and it's pretty smooth, uh, works fine through beta flight and all the components are, uh, uh, the uh, FETs are pretty heavy duty so so that, that's a good AC. This one I can see it's using different FETs so I'll have to, I'll have to see what kind of FETs this use. So I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a separate review on that so I just wanted to show you what I'm gonna use for this build. Uh, they also sent, so I'm, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use the, the 4 in 1 or the uh, the standard ESCs um, on the arms. So I kind of like the 4 into 1s, so it makes it for a very clean build and all the weight is centralized so that helps even more. Um, and uh, it, it just makes it really easy to build. Uh, but uh, yeah, these are these are also these are also good. Uh, these are their uh, uh, and three to six. The other one is also three to six x. So that's pretty. That's pretty pretty good. That tells you they're they're using very robust components if they can withstand success. Uh, so. Uh, not sure yet if I'm gonna use this one or the other one. Um, even has a heat sink, so this this should be really good ESCs too. And uh, for motor, this is a new motor on their site. It's the I Force IF IF twenty two hundred five twenty three hundred kV. Uh, I'll be also testing this motor on the truss stand, see how it does. I'll be tearing that down and 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 checking out how it performs. So keep an eye for that uh, motor review. Uh, well, so that's that's it for this frame. Uh, this is the first part. The uh, next part, I, um, I'll probably show just a quick overview of how uh, how I uh, put it together and hopefully. Uh, fly it uh, pretty soon hopefully uh, I've been uh, I've been lacking time to do reviews I got a whole bunch of motors to test so so I'm being optimistic but uh, uh, just keep an eye I'll, I'll, I'll have a second part uh, 
review of this uh, frame. I'm actually quite uh, interested in seeing how how it flies, uh, you know, with that uh, low weight. So, so that's gonna be a an interesting build. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, uh, the product uh, uh, page uh, link is on the video description. Uh, so it's uh, quite an inter interesting uh, design as far as the material. So I think it's worth uh, worth a look. So we'll see how we'll see how it works.